First of all, I have to say that uh, this is one of the targets of uh, the President of the Republic, Mr. Anastasiadis, uh, and uh, it's something that has to happen. Uh, right now, uh, you have to know that um, as uh, Cyprus, we have one of the longest uh, terms in uh, the army. Uh, I think that we are second after Israel. And uh, two years, I think that uh, too many for uh, these people, young people. And, well, uh, it, it certainly does put them at a disadvantage on the career ladder, doesn't it? Because they start two years after everybody else. Of course, but uh, also we have to take in consideration uh, that uh, we need these people uh, to get into the uh, labor market. We need these uh, people to continue their education. And uh, above all, uh, what we are trying to do now in the National Guard is uh, just to go on with radical restructures, uh, not only in terms of organization, uh, but also in terms of uh, operations. So, so we want to create a, a new, a more compact and flexible uh, uh, army uh, so that it can be economically viable. Uh, that's why I said that uh, uh, we can do it, uh, because, okay, uh, the economic crisis had, has put our plans uh, somewhat on the uh, back burner, uh, but uh, we can do it because if uh, you can see in financial, in, on, on financial basis uh, the whole issue, you can understand that you have to spend money, but you save money also. So you have to see the benefits of uh, this decision. And I think that there are financial and social benefits. Where That's are the savings going to come and what are the expenses? You see, if, if we reduce national service, uh, say, 10 months, uh, then, um, uh, as, as you can understand, uh, we, are go we are not going to pay for the salaries of our conscripts uh, for these 10 months. We are not going to spend money for their food. Uh, we are not going to spend money for uh, their uniforms. Uh, there are many, many uh, things that we can save money uh, from this uh, reduction of uh, national service. Uh, of course, we are going to need uh, to spend money also because we are going to hire some uh, professional people, uh, not too many. Uh, and I think that uh, according to a study that uh, is going on now, uh, and I have seen some uh, first uh, results, uh, I believe that it's time that uh, we can do it, it's time that we can uh, make a step further. And uh, as I told you, Rosie, this is uh, the, uh, one of the targets of uh, the new president. Right, now then, the last time we spoke to, I can't remember who was uh, in the chair then, as it were, about this, they said that it was uh, actually impossible to implement because we couldn't man all the OPs if you had fewer people and that you would have fewer people if they were doing only a year or ten months or whatever. Do we need all these OPs all over the island for this? This is no longer 1974 is it if we look realistically at the map and what's going on could I suggest to you it's highly unlikely that in this day and age we would expect an assault from the occupying forces in the north yes uh, maybe you are right uh, of course uh, you ho we have to protect our territorial rights uh, uh, and I think that uh, we have to uh, well, that can be done by satellite, surely. I mean, you know where the, uh, okay, where the line is. Right. Do you know what I mean? You don't need yes. bodies along the line, course, do you? Of course, you are right. That's why we need to modernize our National Guard. We have to modernize the, and restructure uh, the National Guard. Uh, we have to modernize the legislation, the institutions, and uh, we have to see uh, how the operations from now on will be. Uh, so that's why I... I can uh, say that uh, it's time that we can have uh, a more professional uh, army with not so many people. 
and uh, this is what we need today. All right, and when do you think... Modernized, modern, modern military uh, armies are. When do you think this can all be implemented? How long is it going to take? Okay, we, but, uh, right now we are uh, carrying a um, uh, study. I think that... Uh, but, uh, we've already had a study done a couple of years ago. No, 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 no. I will have to uh, uh, see a new study again because things are different now. The economic uh, crisis, uh, uh, it's uh, something that you have to take in consideration. And I believe that in a couple of months uh, we can have this uh, study and we can uh, uh, make the first uh, move. So, so does, does that mean the youngsters who are just finishing school now, when they sign up in uh, or sign no, on in a couple of months, they may end no, up? No, I don't know. I cannot promise this. Uh, what I can promise is that uh, we are going to take some decisions as soon as possible. I don't know if uh, these young people uh, would have this advantage, but we'll try, Rosie. We'll mm. try. It's something that is not so easy to do, but uh, we are ready, we have already decided, and uh, I think that uh, in my people at the uh, ministry, uh, we all believe that uh, we can do it. Well, it's something that I think every family will be listening to with a great deal of hope uh, for this. Before you go, can I just ask you, is it true what we read in the papers that we're considering buying two frigates? No. <laughs> Uh, we cannot do it. <laughs> well, we I was going to say, it, uh, well, we not only, uh, not only uh, would, uh, if we did have the money, it would be a rather silly move, wouldn't it? I mean, so there's no course. chance that we're going to buy and, two frigates to protect our oil interests. You are right, Rosie, and I have never uh, said that we can do this. Uh, uh, what I said, that uh, we can uh, buy some uh, special uh, ships, boats, just uh, for our exclusive economic zone, for not the uh, warships or Fregada. This is uh, wrong. Uh, and, All right, uh, then, but you have said that we might need to buy boats. Yes, but uh, these are special uh, boats, uh, just uh, to see how things are in uh, our exclusive economic zone. has nothing to do with, with warships. Okay, but uh, what, uh, what use would they be? in our economic what would they be doing i think that uh, it's uh, something that we need uh, we don't have uh, this uh, modern specialized radar so we need this uh, special uh, boats ships uh, so that we can have a picture every day every night how things are in our exclusive economic zone and i think that we have to do this uh, couldn't that too be done by satellite Yes, uh, but uh, we cannot have this picture that we want from satellite. Sorry, I'm not clear on this. These boats are going to be what? Just wandering up and down our EZ? Just watching and uh, safeguard uh, our exclusive economic zone. How much are they going to cost? I don't think. I, I, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know right now, but uh, we are trying to find some methods uh, that uh, uh, we can do it uh, financially because as i told you we know that we are in our own economic crisis we know that it's difficult to do it but uh, believe me there are some uh, ways that we can do it and uh, this will be okay with our budget and we're going to have to employ new people to learn how no. to use these boats no no, no, no. We have uh, these uh, people uh, in our army. Because we're so worried about uh, money getting spent on things that aren't absolutely well, necessary I, I for this. Because we need money now for other purposes. There are people that uh, they don't have uh, food. And uh, as I told you, this will not be a burden to our budget. It, uh, Just the, let me be method, clear on this. These boats... The method that we are going to do this uh, will not affect our budget. Okay, but these boats are going to be just giving us pictures of what's happening. Yes, and it, it will be like uh, uh, two boats uh, going around, uh, especially in our exclusive economic zone, uh, and give us a picture uh, of uh, the everyday actions of everybody in the area. And why do we need that? Because 
we have to protect uh, our exclusive economic zone. We have to protect our territorial rights. From whom? You know that. You know that at least, at least, we have to know what is happening, okay. and we don't know now. All right, but if the, if this is something to hopefully prevent a possible Turkish incursions, you know, and I know that two Turkish warplanes could sink those boats in two seconds. It's not no. Uh, this is not. Which uh, would be a terrible uh, waste of money and life. No, sorry. No, no, no. This is not the uh, purpose behind these uh, two specialized uh, boats. As I told you, uh, it has to do with uh, the picture of the of the area that uh, our military people they have to know what is happening every day. Military. Uh, I think that uh, I don't need, I don't think that uh, people uh, want to know and uh, they can understand